Plant temperature, exploring why leaf, fruit, and soil temperatures can be significantly different from air temperatures and how a roof covering can alter plant temperatures. Let us begin by looking at the temperatures we normally refer to. When speaking about temperatures, we all typically refer to air temperatures because that is what we measure. But when managing plants, can we optimize plant growth and development using air temperature only? And is the soil temperature, leaf, or fruit temperature of a plant the same as air temperature? As you will now see, to accurately measure leaf, fruit, and soil temperatures, it is best to use infrared thermometers. In this video, we will measure and compare the temperatures of different parts of the plants under direct sun and under plastic. Let's challenge our knowledge on temperatures by checking the leaf and soil temperatures in direct sun and under a retractable roof covering in Culiacan, Mexico. Culiacan is located at latitude 24, which is the same as Polokwane, South Africa, Bundaberg, Australia, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and Indore, India. So at 12.50 p.m. on April 13th, the air temperature was 36.6 Celsius and the relative humidity was 39%. What do you think are the temperatures in the following areas? Leaf temperature, not indirect sun. Leaf temperature, indirect sun. Soil temperature, indirect sun. Stop the video and write down your guesses. Then start the video again to see how close your guess was. It is 12.50 on April the 13th, 2011. And we are in the retractable roof house in Culiacan, Mexico. We're going to do a check of the leaf and soil temperature, both in full sun and underneath the retractable roof. So it is 12.50 in the afternoon and the relative humidity is 40% and the soil temperature in the direct sun is 53 degrees Celsius. Using an infrared temperature sensor We are getting similar values up to 55 degrees Celsius. The air temperature currently is 36.6. Looking at the plants, you can see the leaves are not flagging at all. They're very firm. And the underside of the leaves are quite clean. Now looking at the impact of the roof on the leaf temperature. where the sun is coming through the opening in the roof the leaf temperature is measuring 34 33 degrees Celsius when we move up higher under the shade from the retractable roof we're now measuring 25 25. So we are going from 25 under the retractable roof to 32 Celsius. So how close was your guess? Did you guess that the soil temperature was 53 Celsius or 16 degrees warmer in the direct sun than the air temperature? 
And did you guess that the leaf temperature increased from 25 under the plastic to 34, or an increase of 8 degrees Celsius? When looking at field crops, when summer heat arrives, the fruit quality and yield normally goes down and insect pressures go up. Here is a picture of a capsicum in the open field in Culiacan, Mexico. We can see that the air temperature is 28.6 Celsius and the leaf temperature is 31, or 2.5 degrees warmer than the air, and the relative humidity is only 34%. Now looking at the fruit temperature, we can observe that the air temperature is still 28.6, but the temperature of the fruit is 42 Celsius, which is over 15 degrees hotter than the air temperature, which helps explain why quality drops in the summer. As a result of the above, if you only used a conventional air temperature sensor to manage your crops, then you would never be aware of the dramatic differences in leaf and fruit temperature and soil compared to when plants are under a roof or exposed to direct sunlight. You would also not be aware of at least eight strategies for how this heating effect of direct sunlight can be used 12 months per year to positively influence your production. By choosing when to expose your plants to direct sunlight, you can change when plants are transplanted and for how long the harvest can be maintained, increase how much light plants receive in the cooler winter conditions, reduce humidity levels during the winter while increasing plant temperatures, increase daytime heat accumulation in the soil to help protect during extreme freeze conditions, increase yield and quality through hot summer conditions, change the balance between leaves and fruit, increase the activation of the plant's natural defense mechanisms, and reduce foliar disease pressure. So the first key learning is that air temperature is sometimes not an accurate predictor of plant and soil temperatures. The second key learning is that an infrared sensor will give us a more accurate reading of plant temperatures than an air temperature sensor. The third key learning is that plant temperatures can be higher in direct sunlight than under a roof covering. And the most important learning is that if we are not aware of the changes in plant and soil temperatures and we cannot move a roof covering, then we cannot easily change the plant temperatures and we cannot easily optimize the growing environment. In the next video, we will look at how in nature the direct sun wind and temperatures impact on the rate at which plants lose water, how the rate of water loss impacts on the absorption of nutrients, and how a greenhouse environment causes the dramatic reduction in the rate of water loss and nutrient absorption.